Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today guys we are playing the Nova Cat because I wanted to play something that can punch some holes into the enemy's armor at long range and also deal some critical damage and uh, you know what we are going for both of it today. As you can see we are running double PPCs on very high mounted shoulder hardpoints and then we have a rack of three LB2X auto cannons. Again the idea is to soften up the enemies at long range so shoot early with them and uh, you know just get the damage out. As soon as you have cracked up the armor the LB2s come in handy. They not only deal more critical damage but also have a critical hit chance increase. And that means that um, you can destroy weapon systems, you can destroy heat sinks, electronics, ammunition, all of that in the max if they don't have any armor in that component anymore and that's pretty cool. It also has an amazing range so we can also use that for again softening up the enemies, splitting them up, uh, suppressing them and uh, it fires very very fast. The single LV2 auto cannon and we have three of them so that's pretty cool. The rest is just a bunch of heat sinks and five tons of ammo and we have the left arm completely open. What you could technically do is drop it a little bit and uh, a little bit of leg armor and then you have like something like 25 to put another heat sink into the arm. So this would be I don't know something like that and now another heatsink in here and then max it up again to like 31. If you are running into heat problems then do this, okay? Just a little bit of a heads up. You could also maybe drop another ton of ammo uh, and put another double heatsink in here but for me this build works just fine. I mean this build. Come on, there we go. Now let's take a look at the skill build. We are using a lot of firepower nodes here. I wanted to have as much velocity as possible so that I can actually shoot at moving targets without leading my shots so much. I also went for a lot of cooldown and heat gen mainly for the PPCs and we have one point of magazine capacity. If you're wondering why I'm not taking the LBX spread nodes, LB2s they don't spread so much so I think we don't necessarily need them. And instead again we are going for a lot of velocity and cooldown and heat gen. As you can see we have a bit of survivability here. The main reason for that is because if you are in a fighting situation, in, an, in a brawling situation, try not to go there in the first place but sometimes it is required to get there. Then uh, you can shoot with your LB2s like crazy. That is a very nice cold DPS weapon system that you have there and that means that you need to face down the enemy. You only deal like 6 damage. Uh, wait, uh, no, it's actually, yeah, it's actually six damage that uh, you would deal. Um, but over and over and over again, that means that you have to face the enemy down a long, long time. And therefore, having additional uh, armor is quite nice to have. We also go for maximum cool run and actually maximum heat containment today because the PPCs, if you fire them over and over again, they rack up quite a lot of heat. And then we have rated deprivation, we have a point of seismic sensor and double cool shot plus a UAV. And that's the build everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming and if you have that then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right first game of the day we are playing the HPG Manifold and we are playing Domination. So let's go ahead and dominate people. Yeah it's also very important to shoot the lucky eye. That gives you a 20% win chance and um, a 20% win chance increase, that is. And uh, we also want to shoot some people here on the right side. Is there somebody still? I think they're all out by now, right? Three, two, one. Nah, there's nobody coming anymore. Okay, so we focus on the center. Now, what do we do with the build? We want to set up somewhere where we can shoot the enemies from somewhat safety. And um, for that reason, I'm gonna go up the ramp here in the Echo 5 area, the right side of the ramp, not the platform, but the ramp on the right side. I can peek over it because we have very high mounts with the PPCs, but I can also shoot into the center. When the enemies are watching the ramp here, they are probably distracted enough by our teammates and that makes it so that I can stay on top of this ramp uncontested and then uh, push them down. I can just suppress them the and uh, you know that's win how we win the game the let's see win the game. let's see stay top stay on top win the game that's exactly what we want okay there's nobody here oh that's interesting all right oh there's a guy hello that's all we can do right now we shot our ppcs once and then that's it actually i want to stay in the oh cool uh, i want to stay in the heat vision here so that helps are you coming up the ramp mr nova left side oh left side is hot like super hot there's a dragon. No, a thunderbolt, sorry. Yeah, it's the Nova again. Shoot him. Okay. Yeah, stay on top and win the game. That's how we do it. However, we have lost two people already, which is horrible. As in, uh, very, very bad. On the archer, Juliet. 
Definitely worth the cool shot here. We need to kill. We need to get some kills here in order to win the game. Uh, he's a light engine. But yeah, my light max got it. So, now, 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 I don't know what's going on here, guys. Seriously. I have no idea what's going on. Can we kill this guy? I don't know. I mean, he's pushing through, which is uh, actually a very good distraction. Now, the Nova. Uh, the Nova Charlie is right side crit. Nova Charlie, right side crit. I know it because I saw that earlier and I remembered. Oh, it's left side, actually. Uh, I wasn't remembering good enough. Bam, bam, bam. All right. We are two and four, and I think we can still win this because the Nova is half down. And those guys in the bottom are being uh, not part of the fight right now. Come on. Oh, damn it. So close. Okay. So we have to do something now, which is... Hello, Nova. Goodbye, Nova. Right side of the Victor there. And then we drop. And see, we are in an even situation again. And that's really good. So not throwing the towel early is how to win the game. Uh, okay, we can probably mm, not hit the Battlemaster uncontested. Uh, the Thunderbolt is cored. Can you kill the Thunderbolt, please? And push up, please. Push up, push up, push up. That's how we win now. Yeah. The Victor is right side crit. The Thunderbolt is cored. We now just need to oh, grab the components. And all of a sudden, we have it in the bag. Hit that guy. Bam, bam, bam. Cold DPS. And we are 8-4. Good job, guys. I thought, actually, uh, we were more or less losing this. Damn it. That was bad. Bad shot there. Okay. Is he going for me? Not really. Are oh, we getting shot in the back? Okay, got that guy. It's the wolfhound from earlier. Uh, you know what? I will. Ah, uh, will I contest it? I will dispatch from the team if I do. We have a wolfhound on top, and then there's an assault mech on the right side. Where is the wolfie? Hello, wolfie. I'm trying to kill him. Okay, Madcat is uh, walking up the ramp. We can actually hit him from here, but not with the arm mount. Not having an angle here, and it's 12 and 7. Perfect, guys. I mean, not perfect, but very nice comeback. It was a minor comeback, but um, having a 0-2 situation very early on is really hard to come back from. And we actually, actually made it through focus. Nice. We got one killing blow, nine assists. We got three kill most damage dealt and 825 damage done with eight components destroyed. And that's the first round, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, the second game of the day. We are playing the Frozen City and we are playing Skirmish. So let's set up here in the Echo 6 area and shoot into the outskirts. And maybe we can soften up the enemy assault mechs before they arrive at the, you know, at the battle in the Echo 7, Fox 7 area. And uh, the cool thing is that both of our weapons have amazing range. 900 meters on the LB2s. We can do that, technically. I know, I know. We are spreading the damage. Hello, goodbye. Yeah. But still, we are dealing damage. Nice upfront damage. And, yeah, why not do it? Oh, wait. What about this guy? What? Okay, we have a very lagging. <laughs> oh, my God. This guy. I don't know if you could see it on the video here on YouTube, but this guy was lagging hard. Like, so damn hard. Hey, little one. That was an urban mech, right? Yeah, it seemed like it. Okay, so we've softened the enemies up tiny bits. But hey, the thing is, we can um, shoot the enemies at long range, and we should, because that also gives us the assists. You know? Assists as in um, if we kill everybody in the, in the late game. Then we get some nice sea bills. And that, wow. That secured very early on. What are you doing down there? I thought you were already, all of you, in the in the center of the map. Okay. Was swaying a little bit, but okay. We dealt some damage. We took some damage, but not too much. And uh, I think it was a very good trade in general. I think we dealt like 100 damage already. And we didn't take too much in return. So yeah, let's uh, try to find an angle on the enemy. What is that? 600 meters. Uh-oh, getting shot in the back? Who is shooting me in the back? Seriously? Oh, yeah, we have a commando in the center of the map, but uh, don't chase him. There's one commando in the, at the ship. Let's go for this guy instead. Yeah, he's basically... Go for the legs on the assassin. If you can. I mean, I can't. But yeah. Bringing up a UAV here, because I want to see if we are getting pushed. <laughs> we need to help out our assault mechs in Echo 7 quickly, because they are getting pushed like crazy. Yes. Go for Echo 6, Echo 7, please. Our assault mechs need help. 
Okay. Oh, uh, please regroup, man. Please regroup. Blood Asp is staying in the open like a boss. I don't know if that's gonna be the right choice to help out here. On the Cyclops, Alpha. Yeah, let's go. Hello, Griffin. I have my buddy covered. Charlie, Charlie. Can we? Okay, we cannot. We can, however, shoot this guy. Pull back, man. Pull back. Uh, Wakamatsu. Wakamatsu, please pull back. We need you alive. Wakamatsu, pull back if you can. Uh, I mean, in the meantime, my team is completely wrecking the others. On the other side of the battlefield. I'm not feeling comfortable here. Heat vision. The Hellfire got some serious damage from me. He also shut down. He shouldn't shut down on a... Yeah. Oh, I know why he shut down. Because we destroyed his side torso when he was at hot as, as, at a very hot state. Um, Pulling back. I see you. Now he's pushing forward. No, he's still here. Hi. I see you. I see also a lot of other enemies. Got that guy. Where's the... That's the assassin from earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm, ge I'm getting surrounded here. Can I somehow regroup? Thank you. Snapshot. Didn't connect. Yes, a little one. Hit his leg. Perfect. But I think I'm gonna die here. Ah, oh, come on. Get wrecked. Could be. Ah. Oh. Yeah, he got me. I was about to shoot again. My cooldown was almost ready. But hey, he really wanted me dead and he got his big prize. But now he's going to die for it. Because my teammates are still standing strong and he is in the middle of the fight. Okay, so what do we need? We have the Pirate's Bane. I actually did not hit his leg? But his arm? I don't know. Maybe even head? I couldn't tell. Okay. So, it is a 10 and 2 situation. We have a Locus on the board, which is already narked. So, that's something. But I see no missiles flying, so it seems that we don't have any LRMs or ATMs or anything here. So, little one, and then, after that, I don't know. But yeah, let's talk about the build a second. Uh, since we are dead and we can do it now. I really like the combination of having an early game weapon. Or, like, five early game weapons. The LB2s combined with the PPCs are very, very nice. If you want to throw some damage very early on to soften up the enemy. To separate the assault mechs from the rest of the team. Because um, you can split them up. Because sometimes people will take cover when they are getting shot at long range. And then the whole trail of mechs will stretch out even more. Which really helps you as a team. Because then you can kill them easier. Right? Um, and then... We have that cold DPS rack on the right side uh, with the LB2s and whenever we need some nice pinpoint damage then we shoot the PPCs on top of that. We got one killing blow, we got 11 assists, we got 5 kill most damage dealt with 738 damage done and we got 2 components destroyed. That was your daily dose for today, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me go down below to the description, there is the link to my Patreon page and I hope to see you guys on the battlefield. Goodbye.